Really? You didn't change that? I don't know if it's ugly or looks really nice. Either way, this is the uh, iOS 26 Developer Beta 1. Now, I've actually used this on my main phone, which I'm recording on, which is a 16 Pro, and the battery life on it is awful. Please, if you want to try this out, just wait for the public beta in July. Either way, let's go through the new setup process. I like how all the, uh, the boxes are rounded off now. Looks much sleeker. That slider is gone. I know some people don't like this new design, but it's really growing on me. Okay, so normally on data and privacy, uh, Apple doesn't like automatically collect diagnostics unless you opt in, but on the developer beta, pretty much everything is forwarded to them, so do not use it if you like your privacy. Face ID, uh, no thank you. Create a passcode. Hmm, you know we're going with the classic. Use anyway. Uh, Annoying dialog box aside, I like how you can see the uh, the elements behind it. The uh, translucency is awesome. And also, all this is left aligned now. I, I think it's actually a good change because people read left from right. I mean, unless you uh, unless you read Arabic. Transfer your apps and data. Oh, by the way, one more thing. Uh, if you plan to install this beta, please, please make a backup. I have reverted like twice on my iPhone, okay? <laughs> oh wow, they even redid the terms and conditions page. Cool, so I can just not read it. Even better now. Enter iPad. Oh cool, it actually shows you the picture of the device that you're, uh, you gotta enter the passcode for now. Which is the, uh, this is the iPad Air 2. Improve Siri. Oh, you bet. You bet you need to improve Siri. Okay, swipe up to get started. I really like this background. And here we are. I, okay, you know what, this, this is really ugly. There we go. Much better. And I just turned dark mode off. It looks even better. Also, just me, or does that camera icon look really close to the iOS 6 one? Anyways, let's start digging around some of the apps and see what's changed. What the fuck did they do to Control Center? Oh my god! I mean, it's a developer beta, so it's obviously gonna change with time, but right now, oh my god, this is hideous. Calendar... Oh, god damn it! thanks for doxing me, asshole. I mean, Calendar looks pretty much exactly the same, just with those new UI buttons that Liquid Glass introduces. <laughs> I I've opened like three apps and this thing is so warm. And this thing is a 13 Pro Max, this thing is known for running cool. Wow, look at these new passcode buttons though, really nice. Alright, let's see if they change the Photos app up a bit. Oh my god, they finally brought the tabs back! What genius did they hire to make that decision? Finally! This is probably the biggest improvement from iOS 18. Now, instead of having to scroll through everything to find what you're looking for, you can just sort through the tabs at the bottom. Thank God. And of course, like with everything else in this operating system, looking at photos is also a bit different. You got those new UI buttons all over the place. Let's check out the new camera. So yeah, wow. Uh, they hid everything now. If you want to go to the different photo modes, you gotta swipe. And let me just say, I'm a really big fan of the liquid glass design. It looks just so smooth. So yeah, to change the settings in the photo now, you actually have to click on the photo button, and then it brings up this little context menu. Pretty neat. Now, one thing I want to ramble about is in this developer build, only Apple apps seem to use the new keyboard. Everywhere else, it just uses the old uh, iOS 18 one for some reason. No clue why. All right, let's check out reminders. <laughs> New features require an upgrade. Your devices need upgrading. Are, are you shaming my income? What happens if I hit update now? Is it gonna force this like iPhone, like what? What is this? The, I think that's the iPhone 6. Is it gonna force it to get iPad or uh, iOS 13? I, I guess so. But anyways, reminders looks pretty much the same aside from like a few UI changes, which as I've said is pretty much everywhere throughout this new OS. Ooh, but those buttons are different. That looks cool. Let's uh, let's try out games. Welcome to Apple Games. Okay, this is isn't this just Game Center too? So yeah, this is pretty much just Game Center with an Apple Arcade button at the bottom now. Neat. One thing that I can point out here is the liquid glass design. Look what happens when I move the tab. Shiny. This is so fun to play with. Alright, let's try out maps. What I'm noticing about this new iOS version is pretty much every icon now has a bit of depth to it, which I love. I'm glad we're bringing skeuomorphism back. 
Okay, so yeah, update on how this phone is performing. The thing is so warm, I can feel it through the stainless steel sides. Now, I think I found a secret trick to regulate the battery usage and the thermals on this beta. You wanna flip the phone over, right? And then you wanna get your nice ice cold water and use the phone as a goddamn coaster because there's no way in hell this phone is gonna cool down. All right, let's take a look at settings. Now, one thing I like about settings is all of the icons, they match the uh, the theme of the apps you got on the home screen. So because I have it set to clear, all of them are uh, they're kind of clearish here. As usual with everything else in the OS, everything has like a rounded corner now, which I actually prefer. Alright, so let's take a look at phone. Now the one cool thing about this app is, I mean, you've got the normal layout with all of these different tabs, right? But you also have the the new unified layout, which if you toggle that on, it gets rid of some of the tabs and it like unifies everything in say your calls section. Oh, that's a bug. I actually prefer the unified section, so good update. Now let's take a look at one of the most radical changes, which is in Safari. Now the viewport is much better because when you scroll down, this thing minimizes now. So let's go to Apple and test it out. So yeah, you can see there's no more like giant bar at the bottom of the screen. Now it's just this little floating thing. And when you swipe down, it minimizes so you can see more of your content. I'm a big fan of this redesign. It still looks like shit in landscape though, unfortunately. All right, let's take a look at music. Now, one thing I want to demo is the auto mix feature, but uh, I'm not sure how I can with YouTube copyright, so uh, let me find some royalty free songs. You know exactly who I'm going to for royalty free music. Hello? Oh, there's another bug. Oh, cool, the phone is just completely unresponsive now. I love developer betas. Woo! Alright, let's try that again. Oh yeah, turn that shit up! Alright, so let's try Automix by skipping to the last bit of the song. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, as you can see, it's not perfect in the developer beta, but it provides a pretty good use case for just seamlessly mixing from one song to the next. I quite enjoy it. Alright, next up, let's do stuff. Just kidding, who cares about stocks? Oh, and before I forget, they actually changed the little pop-up bubble that shows you what you're typing. It's also liquid glass. I, I have no idea why it's black and white here, but you get the proof of concept. One thing that is new in iOS 26, though, is the preview app, where uh, on Mac, if you hit spacebar when you're highlighting a file, you can like just immediately preview a file. But uh, on this, if you have a file here, I think this is just like an all-in-one toolkit to like read PDFs, see images, stuff like that, which I'm a big fan of. Can we get split-screen multitasking next, please? I think Compass is the one app that has not been touched on the newer version. Oh wow, it, yeah, iTunes Store has not been touched at all actually. It has the old iOS 18 dialog box, it has the old tabs, this app is so neglected. I wouldn't be surprised if it's removed in the final release. Translate has gotten a nice upgrade though, which I quite enjoy, especially being able to live translate messages and calls, that's a big up. Oh, I gotta show you probably the most badass feature of this new update, the pull down shade, watch this. Mmm, very smooth. <laughs> the phone's getting so hot I can't even use the flashlight anymore. Probably my favorite thing about this new pull-down shade is you can use it to mess with pictures of people. Watch this. <laughs> Look at his eyes! Yeah, this was Tim Cook's face when he saw Apple Intelligence for the first time. Steve Jobs on iOS 6. Steve Jobs when he saw iOS 18. <laughs> but yeah, liquid glass is so much fun to play with. I really like the new design they're going in. Oh, and they changed the sliders to be a bit better for your fingers. I like that, how they're actually making it like better for touchability. Is, is that a word? I mean, this isn't a really unique opinion, but I think they should just blur the glass a bit more, like do like a bit of like a frosted glass look, just to make it look a bit better, because this control center, oh my god, that is horrible. Kind of hard to see on camera, but I do think some elements of the phone are using HDR to stand out a bit more, like say this battery loop. Pretty neat. But yeah, that's my little hands-on with iOS 26 so far. Uh, on my main phone, I'm just gonna stick with iOS 18. I cannot deal with the battery loss. But uh, let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about it? Are you using it on your phones? <laughs> this is just so much fun, I can't stop doing it. Alright, I'll see you later.